After completing deployment, Super Admin needs to configure AUXA UDP archiving as per company's requirement. To start email archiving, you need to configure UDP archiving and your email service. In this video, we will describe how to configure AUXA UDP archiving. First, verify if you meet the basic prerequisites and considerations that include requirements about RAM, CPU, ports, and storage capacity. Now let us get started. Open a browser and enter the IP address assigned to your UDP archiving server. For the first login, use the credentials that you received after completing deployment. For security reasons, change the password after your first login. After login, the health dashboard of UDP archiving appears. To configure UDP archiving, you need to add domain, a profile for the domain, an administrator to manage users, and then provide settings details under configuration. First, you need to add a domain. Click domains from the left pane. Provide a domain where your mail server is present. UDP archiving will accept messages only from the added domains. Click add domain. Enter your domain, for example, arcsev.com and click add. Click back and you can view the added domain. The domains need to have profiles to set up and associate the company with their domain. Click profile from the left pane. From the profiles page, click add a profile. Please remember that before adding a profile, you must have added a domain. Super admin can add a profile for a company or a separate profile for each customer domain of service provider. From Add a Profile page, enter the details for Profile, Contact, and Email. Select the desired domain. The list displays all the domains that you have added. Click Add, and then click Back. The Profiles page displays Added Profile against the domain name. As the screen displays, the column for administrator is blank. It appears when you assign an administrator to the profile, which is the next step. Every profile is managed by administrator. Administrator manages users and policies for the domain. One administrator can manage multiple profiles. Administrator can also create multiple administrators with similar access right. From the left pane, click administrators. In the Add an Administrator form, the profile is already selected. If you have added multiple profiles, you can click the drop-down option of Profile to select other profile. To create Administrator, enter the details. The email address of Administrator must belong to the same domain for which the Administrator is created. Provide a password for the admin to login. Admin can change the password after first login. Select the user role, click add, click back and you can view the added administrator with the associated profile and domain names. With domain, profile and administrator created, you need to verify the settings of IP and forwarding email address. Forwarding email server is the server whose messages are to be accepted and archived by UDP archiving. All messages from the added servers are always archived. On the other hand, messages of server not set as forwarding mail server are not archived. From the left pane, click Configuration. The configuration page appears. Details for all the fields are populated automatically under Settings according to the information filled during deployment. Verify the details and modify if required. Click Save. The configuration of UDP archiving is complete. Now 
The email archiving will start if you have already configured your email service. To configure email service, please view the videos from UDP archiving video library. On the configuration page, you must also perform other global settings. For other functions, please view the videos from UDP archiving video library.